Uh, today I would like to um, show you how to use start crunch uh, to create uh, a regression um, and um, and and uh, correl um, five correlation um, coefficient. So um, let's we just take a look at the chapter four discussions. I think I'm gonna also uh, use start crunch to um to help you um doing the chapter four discussion here right so in um chapter four discussions i want you to collect a sample of 10 data price value of the spy chart since uh, 1990 so let's take a uh, click on this button All right um Okay, so what I said, I want you to uh, click the button max to get all the chart at the time and look like below here, right? So click on the max button, this one. Okay, so you can see right now as I having like um, all the way from even from uh, you know 1993 actually, I think 1993, right? Um, and up to now, until now, right? So I would like to collect like 10, 10 data values, right? Um, so. Let's go down here and see. I'm gonna say X is number since years 1990, right? And Y is the cry um, of the spy, okay? So um, I have to choose, I would suggest that you wanna choose uh, some year in the same month, right? For example, let's say, I'm gonna collect um, 1997, January, right, in January. I don't care about the date, actually. I'm gonna choose January 1997, right? So let's, let's say 1997 in um, January. Uh, what the price of that? It was 75 point oh nine. Right, uh, and I move to the next other years. You can go by like 1998, or you don't have to, you know, choose like me. You can choose like um, 2000, right? Make sure I try to use the same months, it's gonna be the best. So, like January 2000, right? Say. January 2000 and my is um, 125.88. All right. And then uh, what else? I'm going to choose um, maybe um, um, maybe in the um, 2000 um, Three. Right. If you, I mean, if you go back, you know, um, like for example, from the January um, nineteen ninety seven to January two thousand, uh, that's about like three years, right? Three, 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 uh, like plus three years. You can you can go by plus three years if you like to to make to make it more uh, you know, consistent. Um, but you know. Not only, but you, I mean, I, I, I myself go by that correct way, okay? I mean, usually collect, you should go by, you know, a same part in time range. So I go by adding three years, you know, January 2003, and I got 86.06, .06, right? And the next one, Gonna move to 2006. 
right, January. January. Turn six. What is that? One twenty eight point sixty eight. Right. And next, so the nine, right? Go to the nine. Two nine. I go put down here. January. Nine. And that's eighty five point oh six. I keep moving to the next one, going to be um, um, two thousand January two thousand twelve, right? Uh, What is that? Uh, 2012, sorry. Okay, and then generally, I'm gonna write all oh, my purpose. January 2015, January 2018. How many are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. January, Two thousand twenty one, and then January two thousand twenty three. Okay, you don't have to go exactly like me, but I mean, mm, you can go by, you know, um, by by adding two or by um, by different months, right? Doesn't matter. So that's January twelve. January 12. We were 127.71. And then move to 15, right? 204.97. Next. 18, right? Two seven seven point ninety two. Next twenty one. It was a huge. I got. Three seven five point seventy three seven five point seventy and then move to the last one twenty three right three nine eight point fifty Okay, so yeah, uh, this is all I have um, from uh, uh, from collecting uh, ten uh, samples. I mean, sample of ten data. Um, now I need to make sure I get X is a number of years since nineteen nineties, right? I had to convert uh, some 
some Jia in here, such as like, you know, um, 1997 going to be seven, right? Seven GSC in 1990. And then 75.09, right? Something like that. That's, I have one point, something like that. Yeah, and, and then the one going to be like 10, we have, we got 2000, right? So 135.88, something like that, right? So let's, we go like that way. Put that into start button and see what happened, right? So first, say year since 1990. And I can say here's X. And then the next one is rise of SPY. See here's Y. Yep, so I have the first one gonna be seven, seventy-five point oh nine. Second one is 10, 135. Point eight eight. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up something to make. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so two thousand and three, we mean thirteen years in nineteen ninety, right? Eighty six point oh six. Okay, and what else? Uh, 206, right? So 16 year and 128.68. And we move to the next one, gonna be 209. Oh, sorry, 209 is um, 19 years since 1990, right? 85.06. 2012. Oh, sorry. I keep forgot. 2012 is gonna be what? 2012 is gonna be um uh um, 22 years. Right? And then 19 up uh, uh, sorry, 12 at seven here, point seventy five two one seven point seventy five. Okay. Uh, I make a mistake here, right? What is that? 85. Uh, what else? Uh, 25th. Two seven seven point ninety two. Twenty one. No, thirty one actually. Three seventy five point seventy. Thirty three. Not thirty three, right? It's supposed to be 34 here, but you know, we don't, I mean, you can't not have 34 yet. So, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna choose 23, right? Uh, so 23, 33 gonna be 398.5, okay. All right, so, so now we're gonna click on start here. I'm gonna clean up this. We're gonna start here. And go to the regression here using the simple linear. Click on that, right? I choose the x variables is the years in 1990, right? And the price is SPY, right? And you can just move down. And I think mm, we can just compute. Okay, so we have a correlation coefficient 
and 0 0.8779 which is really strong relation right and uh, in between uh, the year and um, the price right and um and so it's positive so it's going to be like a increasing um increasing um linear right um what else for the um, uh, if I want to present the best fit line, it will be like um, negative fifty three uh, plus eleven point eighty nine. Right, time x here. The slope is eleven point eighty nine something, and the y intercept is negative fifty three something. Right? Okay, so um, that is uh, for some, you know, um, uh, some information that I got it from here, right? Um, let's take a look at the shape by click on this one. So as you can see, um, so here is the 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 shape, the graph that I need you to provide me, right? Um, and also you wanna explain for me, right? So this is clearly like a positive um, um, regression line, right? And um, the best fit line is the red one over here. Um, so, if you, um, if you, uh, so let's take a look at the question, right? So I make a scatter plot. Okay, I did that. Compute the linear correlation coefficient. I had that, right? Interpret the relation between the price of the SPY and the number of years. So I want to have the chain, the shape, and the strength, right? So um, uh, the chain gonna be positive right right the shape gonna be linear right and the strand what is that I'm gonna say strong because it's here you know 0 0.8 something it's strong all right and what else find the regression equation for the primes right so let's combine with the stack branch again. So it's, it's this guy in, in my, and I can write, if we write is intermediate y equals 253 point, I use two decimal place, so 0 0.09 plus with 11.89 x, right? Um, correlation is here, this guy. So, uh, want to ask a question? Uh, so interpret the regression equation for the price of SPY depend on the number of years over here. So, um, so you can think like, oh, because this is the slope over here, right? Slope over here. So you can say, oh, so it look like um, um, every uh, every um, okay. Let me slope was uh, slope was positive eleven point eighty nine, right? Uh, so so I can say like um, the price. tend to increase even dollar and 89 cent each year, right, each year. So um, let's say you want to estimate, right? So what's that? This one is it. Uh, estimate the price in 2024, all right? So 
let's say you want to estimate in 2024, all right? You will say, hmm, you will uh, T in here, or X in here, actually. X in here is, is uh, what is that? 30, uh, 34, right? 34. So you will substitute X equal 34 into this equation here. So you will have what? Y equals to negative 53.09 plus with um, 11.89. 89 times 34. And you will have an estimate of the price of the SPY in the future. Let's take a look at, uh, let's, let's calculate that. So I have nearly 53.09, adding with 11.89 times 34. What is that equal to? So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be about um, 351.17. So uh, let's take a look at the spine. Right now, the, uh, the spines right now, uh, is about 389.99 with still above this chain, right? So could be in 2024, um, you know, uh, oh, the price could still, um, you know, less than, less than this amount, right? But, you know, who knows, uh, this is, this is approximate, an estimate, from an analysis um, uh, like like us, okay. Uh, if you want to have more, um, you know, uh, more better approximate, you have to collect more years, and like even like uh, uh, twenty or even like hundreds. No, it's not only hundred, but I mean like uh, like every or every month, right? Or even every day's um, collections, you will have more better ideas about um, about what trend it is and what is approximate in the future. So, um, uh, so uh, this is the way we are gonna use start one uh, uh, to uh, handle the regressions and um, and. Um, uh, find the correlation correction. Okay, so um, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and um, see you in the next video.